Hello, I'm going to do some appraisals today. The first I'm going to appraise are some spectacle frames. Nice trendy black frames. Nice ten cylinder sides. They're an acetate frame. They've got the markings on there. This, this frame is called Harry. It's in a 5018 with a 140 millimeter length of side. Now I've got seven of this model. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, seven. So. write this down I can offer four pound for them next we have an otoscope now it's got most of the parts here, but it looks like there's some little bits of gaps. So that's the otoscope itself. As a look at that, it is well worn. It doesn't look like it's working at the moment, but that's probably just the battery. So we've got an arm that slots into that. Ah, it is working. And on that, we can actually put a direction section. You can also fit a mirror, so that would help us to look into some funny angles if we needed to. And we've got a smaller mirror. This is also that we can look in the channels in the ear. And we have here a magnifier, an illuminating magnifier, so we can look in. This will get straight into the ear hole and check if there's any buildup of wax, of wax or if there's anything else that's untoward. And some little tweezers. Now, as I said, it has got some little pieces missing. So because it's not complete, I we'll would probably offer about twenty pounds for that. That's the Theodore Hamlin Limited 
otoscope. Next, we're coming on to something else for the hearing. This is a set of tuning forks. There we can see it's all complete. Looks all very neat, nice and neat. So let's have a look. And I'll start from this end. This one is called the 2048C. That's quite a nice sound actually. We'll take that on with a slightly bigger one now. And this is called the 1024C. So you can hear that's a much higher sound, a little bit more difficult to hear. And then we're moving on to the 512C. And again, that's higher. And it just stopped that. You know, moving on to the big ones, the big ones. This one's the 256C. I can feel that, that's quite a low sound. Can still feel that vibrating. That's all right. And the last but not least, the big boy of all is the one two three C. Very high sound. Sorry, very low sound. I can feel that vibrating. Now that's coming in a very nice case. It's got foam padding and a lovely zip. If we look on the front, it's the YNR aluminium tuning fork set called Best Choice. And it's YNR Instruments England Limited. That is quite nice. Um, tuning fork sets tend not to be of a high value and I think I, I, I might be over quoting on this but I'd say £10 for that. The next item I've got is a specialist low vision lamp. It's actually a daylight lamp and it's tubular in shape what I notice is that this is quite well weathered I've got parts of the plastic are very white but most of it is cream it's cream on that side but it's very white on this side so that side has been tainted by the sun you can actually see that on here um, I'm afraid that knocks the value down these are normally quite expensive to buy so I lift this now, you can see the light comes on as I lift it. There's no buttons to press. Well, if you've got low vision, you struggle to find the button. Now you can actually have this, so it stands up completely upright. It's a daylight bulb, and you can see how white that is inside compared to that on the outside. Now you don't have to have this in one direction so you can t 
twisted at an angle this way, that way. As you bring it down, you can actually direct it so it's a table lamp. And so you can illuminate what you want on here. As I've pulled that down now, that's turned itself off. Now that one, I can actually quote £30 for that in, in the condition it's in. If it was immaculate, it would be worth a lot more. Now I have a very old ophthalmoscope. It is antique, it's battery operated. It doesn't have any batteries in it at the moment, but it is very well worn. All the thread is worn on that. It's got an on-off switch here. As you've seen, there's no batteries in it. So you lift this out. Now to change the bulb, there's a screw there, flat-headed screw. But actually, I've already taken a shortcut. You pull this out and that's your bulb. That bulb looks in good condition. Now because I can't check if this is working, and it is very old and it's looking its age. Also, the thread's gone on this, so it doesn't actually hold on. I think in this case, I would only give you three pound for that. And then, the last item I've got for today this is a height gauge for checking the heights for bifocals and varifocals and if I put that onto my glasses so you've got two little arms And a little groove at the top. So you can see I've got that on my glasses now. I'll put this on and I can actually adjust this so that puts the red line level with my pupils so I could then measure that and say that's the height for a very focal. So in this case the heights on this are at 18 millimeters. I can give three pound for that. So in total, that's twenty four, thirty four, sixty four, seventy pounds. What have I got here? So that's ten, twenty, thirty. 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. So that's 70 pound for you, thank you.